find their passion? How do we know what we want to do for the rest of our lives? And what happens if that changes? Should we even be turning our passions into our jobs? Love your 21 year old self. I think we have to ask these questions to the most passionate people I know. On two, does it work? Okay. <laughs> Would you say that you've found your passion? Uh, yes, I... To anyone that feels lost. What did you want to be when you were a kid? Um, I, I don't think I knew, actually. I was 21 when this feeling was at its peak. I had just graduated from a science degree with no desire to work in science. Standing in my little student room, the room that made me feel safe for four years of college, it felt like I was allowed to make mistakes in this room, allowed to stay up all night and go to classes without any sleep, and most importantly, allowed to feel lost. But my stay in that room has come to an end. I had to move out. I was no longer a student. I had a bachelor of degrees in one hand and a 40k student debt in the other. I expected to feel different once I left this room. I thought I would be excited to leave this stupid little room. I expected I'd have it all figured out by now, but I felt passionless. Hi, I'm Tom. I'm a 23-year-old content creator and videographer based in Amsterdam. I'm Nicole Manzo. I'm 24 and I make music. When I was 16, I was a big fan of magic. I was doing uh, street magic on the street. <laughs> that was my big passion. Uh, to be very honest, it was uh, I was so addicted to magic that I was doing magic more, like I was more distracted by magic when doing my homework than by my phone. How do you think someone can find their passion? Ooh. Should we even be looking for our passion? I say yes and no. I think it depends. I, everybody's different. Sometimes when you least like are looking for it, it comes in your path. Try stuff. You can't know what you like and what your passion is if you haven't tried stuff. I think some people just know what it is and just some people discover it by trying different things and experimenting and then... I think always trying, always being eager to to learning, to, to also to failing, because you might try something that you thought you liked and it's, it's your shit at it. And that happens, and that's fine, because from that point you'll then try something else which will lead you eventually to something that you love and, and you're fulfilled with. I, I mean, for me also, I experimented a lot and I tried so many different things and I ended up back to music, like which is something that I was doing since I was a child. I kind of I started studying business, but just out of like I, I like this more than engineering. I like this more than medicine, like a doctor, psychology. So why not do this? And then I did it, and you know, and then like what is it now? Almost three, four years later, I'm 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 doing content. I think passion can lie in like the little littlest things. Yeah. I dove into different jobs, worked behind a bar, resold polo shirts on Vinted, but eventually it was a retail job that stole a piece of my heart. So there I was, a science degree girly working as a manager in a fashion store. I think I learned more than one month at that job than I did one year of studying, but I still had my little hobbies on the side, one of them being upcycling. The passion for upcycling kept growing and growing, and often I found myself standing in that retail store and daydreaming daydreaming about what it would be like if I pursued my dreams of creating my own upcycling brand. Have you always wanted to turn your passion, passion into your job? When I was young, absolutely. I was like, oh, I want to become an artist and I want to sing for like the whole world. I think there's nothing more fulfilling to do what you like as a job. As I got older, it felt like unrealistic. Also, I think because of my environment, because of like my parents telling me that I should do something more practical. So that was like definitely a phase that I went through and I think eventually I realized that I will only be happy if I do follow my passion. I mean, I, I can see how in some way creativity can be ruined once there's money involved, once there's partners, once there's, uh, you know, projects or like something that is not always true to yourself. It comes with its difficulties because you're turning something you love so much into your job 
So it adds stress, especially if it's something creative. But if you manage to kind of keep yourself and your creativity close to who you are, even in those projects, then you, I think, yeah, I think then it's good to work within your passion. At least I like it. I really enjoy. I really enjoy waking up in the morning and thinking, okay, I have uh, this video to edit. I have this project to come to start or to finish. And uh, I think for me, yes. But I can see how for other people, like really creative people, uh, it can be it can be really hard to to put the both together. But I think at the end of the day, you will feel like your most fulfilled self. I think also like just having no regrets because you're going for the thing that you love the most. I think if you choose a different direction for practicality, I think eventually you will feel like you didn't go for the thing like that your heart wants the most. And so I did. I saved up enough for my job to the point that I felt comfortable to quit my job in retail and pursue my dreams. It was time to leave a room again, but this time it wasn't my student room, but a retail store. I don't think I'd be who I am today if it wasn't for that job and I'm forever grateful. But this time I wasn't leaving a room feeling lost. I found my passion. It was upcycling. Do you think you have to be good at your passion? No, that's the thing. Maybe if you want to make it like a career or something, but also what is being good at your passion? I don't think you have to be good if you're not going to work within it. I mean, you can have a passion and literally just love doing it. I mean, I guess it also depends what the passion is. I mean, maybe if you're passionate about like becoming a doctor, maybe you do need to be really good at it. But let's say if you're passionate about something and you don't necessarily want to make a career out of it, I think you should have fun with it and explore it and not take it super serious. I think once you start taking it really serious and stressing about it, then also you're gonna block yourself. Although you kind of end up being good at it, usually. The longer you do something, the better you get at it. Because yeah. you love it, right? And if you love it, why would you, why would you not do it? Eventually, yeah. after months or years of doing it, you, you'll actually be good at it. But you don't have to when you start, no. Starting is like the main thing um, and trying it out. And if you love it, keep going. And as you grow and as time passes by, you'll become better and better at it. But after a few months of pursuing that passion, my savings started to run out. And my passion for upcycling was no longer just a passion, it was a job. And that pressure killed the passion. What you need to know about passions is that not each one needs to be turned into a job. Figuring out what you want to do with your career is a part of finding yourself. And I believe we'll never find ourselves. We're always on the journey to getting to know ourselves better and better. So experimentate, try things. You might find yourself in situations where it seems like everyone's got it figured out, but that's far from the truth. I don't know if we find our passions or if they find us, but truth is, I still feel lost sometimes. But dear younger me, standing in that little stupid student room, your passion was in front of you all this time. Love your older self. Remember there was this moment where I was just at a cafe and I was sitting and I was just reflecting back on everything that I was doing creatively and just how life was going. And I was like, why didn't I just continue like making music and following that passion? Why did I leave it? And I was really reflecting on that. And I was never creative. I never used to draw, never sang or never played an instrument or something. And yeah, until I made my first video and then slowly with COVID had a had an Instagram page and then kind of unlocked something. So yeah, I think I think I think this is my passion or very close to my passion at least. Uh, I also realized it was a little bit of fear and a little bit of just it's super like not secure. But I was like, you know what? I just like really want to go for this and it's gonna make me the happiest. So it was like kind of a moment where I just sat with myself and I just had that realization and I was like okay I need to go for this. Good? Good? Yeah? Yeah? I liked it. Yeah, me too. Yeah, good, awesome then, perfect.